If you recall from my end of insurance review, I was pretty excited about this book. So when Rob was able to make an appearance here in Minneapolis, needless to say, fellow Minnesotan and insurance nerds founder Carly Burnham and I were pumped to put together a launch party. With my own InsureTech group real quick. InsureTech LA. May I have a word? So they hosted Rob a few weeks back and I don't know if you saw this but it looked like pretty much the most glamorous insurance event I have ever seen. Okay that last part is stock footage but I'm pretty sure it was just like that. And I'm over here like, so Rob, how would you like a small windowless building in the suburbs of Shakopee? Seriously, how do you follow that? So InterTech LA, if you could just be slightly less amazing next time I have to follow you with an event, that would be great, thanks. Luckily for us Minnesotans, we did find a cute winery to hang out in and hit the jackpot with guest stars InsureTech Israel had Kobe Bendelak and powerhouse InsureTech entrepreneur Robin Robertson. I also hit the jackpot as I had a production crew for this event. Future YouTube star Sienna Galbraith who did a fantastic job behind the camera. So grab a glass of some Minnesota wine and settle in because I am going to share the highlights of our fantastically nerdy conversation about the future of innovation and the end of insurance. As I started meeting with a lot of these InsurTech startups and seeing some of these technologies, I was just blown away at what was possible. Um, and I even tell a story in the book about uh, 2015, there was a gentleman by the name of Victor that came to our Sleepy Super Super Society meeting in Indianapolis. And uh, Tony Kindness, actually, from Insurance Nerds, introduced me, and um, he's from Silicon Valley. Like, okay, we don't get a lot of Silicon Valley types at our conferences and you know, our sleepy under at conferences. Like, what brings you here? It's like, oh, I'm here to learn everything about your industry. Oh, uh, that's really interesting. You haven't had anybody from Silicon Valley here to say that or whatever. Like, what are you hoping to get out of it? He goes, well, we're going to go back and we're going to start a company. You'll all be out of a job this time next year. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you too, you know? I'm happy to report, right? <laughs> still gonna have the CBC Society meeting this year in New Orleans. Most of us are still gainfully employed in the insurance industry, right? But um, that was kind of a sign, right? And then I started seeing all these technologies that were just mind blowing. And I, I would leave meetings thinking, like, that's, I just, you know, in this power meeting, I got a glimpse of what insurance is gonna look like 10 years from now. That was so cool. It was such a great feeling. And it kept happening over and over. It wasn't one technology or one company. It, so, um, kind of at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, I was on kind of a Christmas uh, break and um, I couldn't stop thinking about it. Israel is tough. <laughs> kind of culture, I think so. There's a joke in Israel that in the past, the, the Jewish mom wanted her son to be a lawyer or doctor. And now, what she, <laughs> she's desired that she will be into Panu. So it's a kind of culture in Israel, it's the environment. We live in a very tough neighborhood, you might know that. And we must be independent, so it's, it's, it's from the beginning. So the, the Israeli people are really, really independent and, and, and a lot of desire to succeed by their own. So this is the base for to be entrepreneur. And all around it's a very supportive environment from the government, from the industry, from uh, the society, from, from all over. Even the army support this, this, this uh, ecosystem because many of the entrepreneurs are, come, came from the army. We've been in the army, the, the technology unit, and when they finish the army, they'll ask themselves what we are going to do. Okay, let's open a startup. What idea? I, we don't know, we'll find a way. <laughs> we will succeed. And there's a lot of money in Israel. Uh, the economy is very good. So all this, all this thing is support. So the culture and the environment make the life of the entrepreneur easier than other places in the world. And, and the last thing, the Israeli people, 
most of them, are very creative. So insure tech is not just technology. The, all the high tech is not just technology, it's based on technology. But it's in the end, you have to be creative. You have to have an idea, problem, and solution. And you're su supposed to be creative to do that. So the Israeli guys are really creative. So I think this is what makes us the startup nation. mobility piece is really helpful because we're all ca carrying around this uh, mini computer that can obviously capture photographs of high quality uh, and video anything that we need to but the second piece of that would be um, API connectivity so when you start talking about the ability for very large platforms like a guide wire or even a small insure tech to offer API connections um, and integration with larger companies or partners. It just, it's kind of like a, a data highway for everyone and it makes technology available at a much, you know, more rapid pace. And I think that the advancement and everyone having, you know, API technology in place um, is really key to a lot of the things that we're talking about and, and advancements that have happened and that will continue to happen. Hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into the event. If you haven't already, make sure to pick up your copy of The End of Insurance. A link to the book and my full review in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the Insurance Nerdery where it is cool to be a nerd. I'll see you next time.